Summer crops may still be a rare sight in the wheat belt of WA, but they have proved successful enough on Ray Fullwood's meckering property to become an increasingly significant part of his farming routine. Mr Fullwood, who farms 4,000 hectares east of Perth, said he was motivated to trial summer crops after seeing how well summer weeds had grown in his paddock in recent years. The winter legumes weren't terribly um, profitable, so the areas have been dropping. So in our rotation, you know, you're battling to have 20% legume. So we thought, well, we can grow summer weeds very well these days. How about we try summer legume? After researching crops suited to sandy soils on limited rainfall, he began trialling cowpeas two years ago. We just found they adapted to sandy soil and they're very tough. And we've found other things since, like um, they'll overwinter in the soil, volunteer next summer, which led us to believe you should be able to under-sow or co-sow with wheat, which we've only just started to do. Mr Fullwood is participating in trials on summer crops, being conducted by WA No-Till Farmers Association and supported by the Grains Research and Development Corporation. These trials have delivered valuable insights for farmers thinking about summer cropping in the region. We've had a few problems. Um, most of the seed, I think, has a bacterial blight or something in it which expresses itself. Um, if you have hailstorm on it, it really expresses itself, which we did last year. So it was very sick for quite a while. Mr Fullwood says the trials have provided a number of lessons, particularly in the area of weed control. Once you seed a summer crop into a no-till winter situation, you, um, you bury the ryegrass. So next year the trifluralin or the sakura or whatever you use probably won't work as well and we've seen it twice in two years. So don't pick a ryegrassy paddock for your summer crop. While he has not yet measured the benefits, Mr Fullwood hopes they will be quantified through his participation in the trial. We're happy if they just grow for three months and die, but uh, if they set seed, we'll make set up for next year, hopefully. Yeah, if we can get them to volunteer under a wheat crop, well, I think hay crop's probably the ultimate. If you remove the tops in spring and have a bit of rain and you can kill weeds at the same time, perhaps before the cowpeas come up, it'd probably be a good fit.